Good Saturday morning, everybody. Sorry about the computer lag time. Down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick weather update that we call Weather Overtime. This is our online video weather blog helping you to stay updated on what's going on with the weather. If you've never tuned in before, here's what you do. More information available here, wreg.com slash weather. Current conditions in the News Channel 3 backyard, 72 degrees right now. Southeast winds at 3, 0 percent in the way of anything involving rain fall chances as we go into later on tonight. Temperatures for the rest of the day today back into the mid to upper 80s so we'll be looking at some fairly warm conditions throughout the day today and also seeing again some fairly warm conditions into later on tonight. Temperatures back in the upper 60s to lower 70s so not getting too much cooler unfortunately as we head into the evening hours would be nice but not going to be happening at least anytime soon. Winds could be a little breezy today south at about 10 to 15 miles per hour or so not doing too bad out there and join me on all these social media networks and keep up to date with what's going on with weather in and around the Mid-South area. Currently not seeing anything at the top of the hour, 8 o'clock hour. We're not getting anything in the way of radar reports of rainfall out there. We may see, again, the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms coming our way after the weekend, but nothing going on immediately. One thing we do have to talk about for today is about pollution. We have what is called a Code Orange Ozone Alert. This is issued. This is a real advisory. So for those of you who are going to email in and say, oh, you're making that up. No, we are not making this up. This is from the Shelby County Health Department, and this is issued when pollutants in the atmosphere, in this case, most notably ozone gas, which happens in large metropolitan areas, especially in a stagnant atmosphere. This is what we're going to be seeing for later on today. If you have an, a lung ailment like asthma, emphysema, or diminished lung capacity, later on this afternoon, you could see a little bit less... Uh, ability to breathe. Something, again, you may want to stay in a cleaner environment, air conditioning, something with a filter, being able to make certain that you stay indoors is going to be your best bet to make certain that you stay as healthy as possible. Yesterday, we managed to go to a code red ozone alert. So again, that could be a bit of a problem into the forecast as we get into around uh, the rest of the day today. So stay tuned to News Channel 3. If that does happen, we will let you know about it. Sunshine galore on the campus of the Rhodes College area around central parts of Memphis. This view, uh, courtesy of the system, beautiful view out there for this morning. View from Ole Miss, Crosby Hall Construction Cam, livecams.org. Olmiss.cams at wreg.com if you'd like to see more on in and around the area of the student union. A little bit more ad added on room going on there and construction happening early this morning. So a great view for a stroll around the campus. View from Germantown, beautiful this morning, plenty of sunshine. Temperatures were in the upper 50s early this morning around City Hall, Germantown. Now currently in the lower 70s. Beautiful southwest winds about seven miles per hour. Rest of the next few hours, winds picking up a little bit and temperatures also increasing into the lower 80s as we head toward the rest of the morning hours. Now toward the afternoon and evening, that's where we see again the potential for the hotter conditions out there back into the mid to upper 80s across much of the Mid-South. Winds occasionally breezy, might stir the air around a little bit, but it's really not doing anything to rid us of the pollution. What we need is a decent storm system to sweep on through here and get rid of all those pollutants, and that does not appear to be happening anytime soon. It'd be nice, but just is not in the cards for right now, so it doesn't seem like that's going to be anytime soon for us. Heading into the rest of the day today, again, temperatures will be back rather on the warm side. We're going to be back into the mid to upper 70s to right about the lower 80s by the time we hit around late this morning into early this afternoon. We see again temperatures back in the lower to mid 80s for lunchtime today. Peak heating time of the day just before sunset. That'll be back in the mid to upper 80s. So get prepared for a warm day. Don't forget the sunblock. Again, it's going to be that sunny out there today. So definitely want to think about uh, keeping yourself safe on that. The umbrella that might come in handy is like a portable sunshade, but you're not going to need it for any rainfall. We're not seeing any conditions like that out there for today. Sunset back in the upper 70s to lower 80s. News Channel 3 at 10 and just afterwards back in the mid to upper 60s. By the time we hit daybreak tomorrow morning, temperatures will be dropping into the mid to upper 60s, probably around 70 degrees for the metro area, but that's going to be about as good as it gets. The last few days we've had a nice bit of a cool off, not much going on, but temperatures over the next several days are going to be heading back upwards again. 
not exactly record breaking, but not exactly where we were either. Temperatures for tomorrow morning, mid 80s easily by Sunday morning. And then as we get into tomorrow afternoon, more chances of temperatures hitting around the 90 degree mark, as you can see around Memphis, northwest Mississippi, southeast Arkansas, into those areas. Now, the markers that you see over here, not really looking at too much of anything in the way of showers or thunderstorms taking place here. But again, what we're seeing is higher amounts of humidity and the computers are reading that as such. So we're looking again at the possibility of scattered light showers according to the computer, but mostly what we're seeing right there is just higher amounts of moisture, cloud cover, uh, things like that. Rain chances will stay away from the area throughout the rest of the weekend. Next best chance of rainfall will be coming our way as we get into Monday afternoon. Rest of the weekend, I don't really see too much of a problem with this time, so good news on that. Severe weather risk at this point not being seen across the area. Sorry about the lag time. The computer is processing this information as fast as it can. Next best chance of severe weather well to our north up around the Great Plains area, and then tomorrow around the Twin Cities from the Great Lakes back into around eastern South Dakota. That threat does not really move too far our direction and by Monday the threat is going to be mainly back out toward the High Plains area. Could be a decent amount of storms taking place there but nothing really major again for the Mid-South area down into around portions of East Arkansas, West Tennessee, and North Mississippi. Rest of the next seven days again temperatures today in the mid to upper 80s very much on the warm side not record shattering or anything like that but it is going to be noticeably warmer so take it easy across the Mid-South and please make certain you drink all that water back that your body sweats away. Please make certain, again, you're watching everybody else because you can push yourself very hard in weather like this. And if you push yourself too hard, that could lead to heat injuries. Even in this type of weather with numbers back in the mid to upper 80s, you really do need to be careful if you've never experienced weather like what we have here in the Mid-South. It can really sap your strength. Believe me, I know about that. Temperatures back into the lower 90s as we head into Sunday. Chances of rainfall make their way back into the forecast as we get a little bit closer to around Monday. Monday afternoon and evening, about the time you head home from work or school, that's where we're going to be seeing again the potential for showers and thunderstorms starting to make their way back into the forecast. Rest of the forecast, rest of the week, pretty much the exact same thing. Second verse, same as the first. Repeat that number that you see on Monday all the way throughout the rest of the week, and that gives you a pretty good idea of what we're looking for. Highs in the mid to upper 80s to right around 90. Lows in the lower 70s. Chances of showers and thunderstorms every single day. Lather, rinse, repeat. You got the basic ideas to what we're looking for, and that goes right on in to next weekend as well. Next best chance of any day without sun, without rainfall and plenty of sunshine is going to be next next Monday, just off the screen here on the 10-day forecast. If you want to see what that looks like, join me on News Channel 3 Daybreak, and we'll have the complete forecast coming up here pretty soon and of course throughout the rest of the weekend. If you can't wait that long, get our weather app. If you'd like to know more about that, go to our your app store, whatever app, whatever platform you've got for your app store, search WREG weather and then you can download that and keep up to date as to what's going on. Join me with Bob and Josh on Monday through Friday morning, 7 to 9 a.m. on AM 730 and of course on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network throughout the rest of the weekend and of course on all these social media networks and we'll keep you updated on that. Something you'd like to see on here, let me know. There's should be an email address somewhere right here. I don't know why it went away, but I'll have to put that back there. Austin.onic at WREG.com, or you can find me via this website, our home on the World Wide Web, and we'll keep you updated on that. If there's something on here you'd like to see, military weather, climate data, more river information, whatever it is, let us know. We would like to know more about that, but we can't show it unless you tell us. My psychic powers don't work, at least without a decent amount of coffee out there. We'll take a look at the tropics. We'll take a look and see what's going on with our latest Twitter poll. Don't forget to check in on that on my Twitter page and more information throughout the course of the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for our quick weather update, our video weather blog called Weather Overtime, and stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online for more weather updates throughout the rest of the weekend. Thanks for joining me.